Alrighty, today we are going over everything new in 2024 for Canada's Wonderland. Obviously, Brendan is not here. This is Jake. Uh, he decided that I could step in for this video, so that is what is going to happen. Let's go over it. Coming in 2024 to the water park is Moosehorn Falls. This expedition will take up to six guests, which is cool because you'll get to go with all your friends down this one water side together, down a river cascade, and a couple of twists and turns, and then you'll get to go up to a weightlessness zero G moment on a water slide, which seems pretty cool, and then you get to do it with all your friends, which seems awesome and then you get to go into a huge breathtaking splash as wonderland puts it at the end inside of their crystal clear water inside of splashworks what do you think about this new addition comment down below it seems pretty cool because you get to go with all your friends that's what i think is um the thing here normally most of the water slides at wonderland i if i do believe you only get to go by yourself uh so this is pretty cool you get to go with your friends and then experience a zero g moment so there's airtime on a water ride all right, the next thing we have here is the passes. Now, we did get rid of the Platinum Pass um, and switch to a new system. So we have our normal pass, our same as Gold Pass, which you've, is all the same things. And then we have our new Prestige Pass. Now, on top of this, for the Gold Pass and the Prestige Pass, you can add your All Park Passport, which I do believe is $99. And it gives you, it's basically adds the ability to go to all Cedar Fair Parks. And then... Just the Prestige Pass doesn't do that. You need to add the extra $100 add-on to do that to go to all the Cedar Fair Parks. But they have changed the what you get on different passes. So for the Prestige Pass, they've added a lot of new things. We have the access to the new VIP area, which uh, seems pretty cool. I don't know where they're going to put this VIP area. They have preferred parking, uh, which is that little square spot in the front of the park. Obviously, it's like an extra $25, but... It's preferred parking compared to the Gold Pass, which doesn't even get you parking. So unlimited visits 2024 and 2023, which is all the other passes, all the passes have that. Uh, free general parking, which doesn't, which confuses me from the preferred parking, but there is an asterisk here. 20% off food and merch compared to 15% off with the Gold Pass and the regular pass. Uh, enhanced pass perk rewards, which is probably just like you know you get that email hey you got this four dollars off a of pretzel or something like that it's just probably better rewards i would assume early entry to the water park which is new because the gold pass used to get you early entry to the water park but now it's only the the prestige pass which gets you that one single use fast lane per visit which is pretty cool i wonder how that's going to work if it's going to be any ride or you have to choose the ride at the entrance or something like that or how that's going to work how you're going to get your ticket to go up the, the fast lane line um to bring a friend free tickets annually that's cool. I mean, we used to have that for upgrading your pass, which I think we still do in certain cases. To bring a friend free tickets. So you got a friend that hasn't come or you're bringing them for the first time. There you go. You have the prestige pass. It is $299 compared to your gold pass, which is only $99. But if you believe that's worth it and they have that new VIP area, if the VIP area is worth it, then I definitely get it. Previously, in previous years, you used to get one fast lane wristband with purchasing a gold pass or regular pass or platinum pass within the first week of them coming out but this season they're doing something a little bit different they are doing it so you can get one single use fast lane even if you upgrade your gold pass you get one single use fast lane five times on any of your visits so you get one fast lane per visit and you can go up to five times instead of um one fast lane wristband for the day it's five single use fast lanes that you could only use one per day this goes for all the passes, um, and if you are renewing your pass, you also get a bring a free, free ticket. So that's it. I just wanted to shout that out that you the the wristband that you would normally get no longer on top of the if you purchased a or got a season pass during this first week, which you now get is the the single use fast lanes, and you can only use one per visit up to five visits. So. I don't know if it's worth it or if it's a good change. I do think it is a good change to lower the, the amount of people in the fast lane lines because those seem to be getting crazy anyway. Those seem to be getting quite crazy. Additionally, we do have a new add-on for the... We have a drink plan plus, which is better than the normal drink plan. We do get your, your normal cold drink from the machines and you get slushies as well uh, in the cold season. In Winterfest, they change all the drink stands into hot chocolate stands and you can also get hot chocolate uh, every 15 minutes, which seems pretty awesome. Now... We are not getting a dry park edition. What does this mean? It probably means 2025 will be awesome. Or they just haven't announced the rest of the 2024 editions, which could be Wild Beast. Wild Beast has been seeing a couple of markings around the area uh, with markings on a couple of the footings nearby and the, like, the posts going vertically. 
But we don't know if that ha- that could be announced later in September. They might have just wanted to push passes a little bit earlier because we know we've, they've seen a little bit of a drop in attendance in the last two months. But it is starting to pick up again. So Wild Beast, we could see a refurbishment and an announcement on that a little bit later. Or that could be part of our big 2025. Who knows uh, at this time? Nobody really knows what is going on. Or if Wild Beast is going to get refurbished at all. It, we've just seen a couple markings. So it could be something like that, like Grizzly at Kings of Minion. But... And again, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. 2025 is going to be really, really, really big because we don't have any dry park additions and that water slide is not very expensive. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that we have to go over today. Anyway, that's about it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed. I do apologize for Brennan being gone and me being in here, but we do hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, we'll see you around. Bye-bye.